2,000 years after the departure of Jesus Christ. The prophets are back to teach the real Jews, the 12 tribes of Israel, their true nationality. This is their campaign. showing you right now that the greatest people that ever walked this earth were so-called black men and women. And your first thought was to reach back to an understanding that you learned from church about everybody being white. It's the, it's the, you don't want to know that? All praises. Where did they come from? We're gonna show you. We're gonna show you. We're gonna show you according to the scriptures. They have they have something called recessive genes. You know what that means? They can only create what they are. So it's no way that they, one white man created all these multiple of colors. You understand? One white man and one white woman did not create a whole spectrum of uh, brown. They, it's impossible. We can do that. We can create all spectrum of color. You understand? The first man that walked this earth, Adam, he just like you and I. He was up the dust of the ground. You understand that? So we're going to kill that, that nonsense that you learned in church. Give me that Genesis 25 started uh Genesis chapter 25 verse 23. And the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb, and two manner of people shall be separated from thy power. So two different nations, two separate nations is in the sister womb. Two, two different types of people are going to be separated from her bowels. Okay, come on. And the one people shall be stronger than the other people. And when the sister can see, the one will be stronger than the other. So are we not stronger than the so-called white man today? Okay, you can look at that. They've tried to kill us multiple times. Esau would have been destroyed already. Right. Okay, we persevere because we're stronger than him. That's right. Come on. And the elder shall serve the younger. So. The elder is going to, in, in, uh, when we get the kingdom, the elder is going to in turn serve the younger. So the old one, the one that comes out first, he's going to turn around and serve us. So keep, it, keep that in mind. Whoever comes out first, he's going to end up in servitude. Remember that. Come on. And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled. Come on. Behold, there were twins in her womb. So it was two separate types of uh, nations, two men or people. What kind of twins are these? Are they identical or are they fraternal? They're fraternal. Why are they fraternal, brother? Right, they don't look the they don't look the same. Right, we're gonna read that. All praises. And the first came out red all over, like a hairy garment. So the first one came out red and hairy. Who's that today? Who's red and hairy? Huh? Your oppressor. Like Donald Trump, he's a little orange. He's orange right now. He's that spray on tan, got that tan. He's a little orange right now. But Donald Trump, your oppressor, your president today, he came out red and hairy. Come on. And they called his name Esau. What did they call him? And they called his name Esau. So the inception of the, the so-called Caucasians, the white man, okay, they came out named what? What were the name? Esau. Name, their name was later changed to Edom. Okay? They're the Edomites today. There's no such thing as a white person on this dog on earth. Show me a white person. You ever seen a white person, brother? You ever seen a white person before? Hey, you got it yesterday. Huh? You got it he's yesterday. not white. Right, his palm right here is white. He's orange. He's, he's orange because it's spray tan. That's spray on tan. And hey, that thing is horrible. He's orange, but they're red and hairy. Okay? Their attributes are red and hairy. Remember that. Come on. And after that came his brother up, and his hand took hold on Esau's heel, and his name was called Jacob. Hold on, what color was his brother? He was what? What color was his brother? It doesn't say. 
Give me Genesis 12, 7. It doesn't say. Why? Because he looked the same as the men before him, that preceded him. There was no difference in this brother. The color was the same. This is the color of his brother right here. Come on. Genesis chapter 2, verse 7. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. Of the what, brother? Of the dust of the ground. So you pick up dust from the ground. What color is it? Different spectrums, different colors of brown. Right. It's, you won't find white anywhere. So what color was Jacob? He's brown. What color was Esau? To live in that climate, he had to be. To live in the climate, he has to be. All praises. He was red and hairy. Come back. Genesis chapter twenty-five, verse twenty-six. And after that came his brother up. And his hand took hold on Esau's no, heel, and his name was called Jacob. And his name was called Jacob. And Isaac was three score years old when she bared him. So it says, uh, his younger brother came out and grabbed hold of Esau's heel. Give me that in uh, Isaac. That's significant for something. It says the elder shall serve the younger. You remember that? Who's the elder? Who came out first? The elder. He came out red and hairy. Who was that? Esau came out red and hairy, right? Okay, come on. So it says, when uh, Jacob came out, his hand took hold on Esau's heel. Let's see what that means. Second Exodus chapter 6, verse 9. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it. That's so when we get our kingdom, when we get rulership, they're going to be serving you in that kingdom. You understand that? So to hell with asking about it, whatever. They can have presidency, they can have this whole despicable place. When it burned, you get it? All oh, praise. So do you get that you must keep the commandments? So what you gonna do? What you gonna what you gonna do today? What are you doing today? You work today? You're not supposed to work? Say it again? Gotta make provisions, bro. Gotta make provisions for, you know what I'm saying? You know you gotta work to pay the rent. Guess what? Get a, get, try to find a position or find ways to uh, lawfully make money so that you can observe the Sabbath, bro. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and I, this got is, I got a grind, brother. Fuck that. I'm go about to go back and do the white man's work right now, man. You got a grind? I'm, I'm, I'm fucking grinding. You're fucking right. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I don't believe in that bullshit, man. You don't believe in what? None of that shit. I'm just entertaining myself. I always get a kick out of you, brother. You don't, you don't believe in none of this? We nah, kicking? Nah, that Bible. What are we kicking? Believe, what are we kicking? I don't believe brother? in that Bible. I don't believe in that Bible. Why? I don't. It's written by man. It has Show me one book is not written by man. It's written, it's written by man. It has nothing. It has, what you're preaching has nothing to do with anything. Hey, bro. So I'm, tired of, I'm tired of our people just damn nonsense. Who's our people? Who's our people? So called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You are the Israelites! That's right, right! You're not damn people. What do you mean, who's our people? That's not. Y'all not my people. Who, who's your people? Not you. Who's your people? Not you. Just the problem when I do people right people. now. You hate your people. I don't hate you hate people. yourself. Right. Don't who, hate the, who are you? Who are you? You're going to die as David, David if you don't repent. And good. I, I, that's, that's what. what that's you're going to die. I was born here by myself. You're going to die as David if you don't repent. I was born here by myself too. You was born here by yourself? How you getting here? Oh, you got to go now. I got to go. You got to go now, you dead devil. Hey, you better repent, bro. Tell him hey, hey, I come here for entertainment. Hey, the most I'm going to laugh at your calamity when you die here. That's right. You better repent, brother. You see this madness? Bro, that's why the most I give me that again. Psalms 94. We gotta get that again, man. The most I gotta ask, the, why this guy gotta ask the question, who's gonna rise up for him? Who's gonna stand up for him? Because we got these dumb Negroes out here with their mind gummed up with all this madness out here, man. This, this stuff, it, it, it really, it, come on, bro. Yeah, I'ma stay studying and listen. He's studying and listen for an hour. He listen for a damn hour talking about, uh, hey, y'all entertaining me. I don't even know. Why are you standing here? What are you here for? We are here to teach you repentance. We are here to show you who you are according to the Bible. If you're not here for that, kick rocks, man. The book of Psalms, chapter 94, verse 16. Huh? Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Huh? Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Why the most I got to why, why is this having to be written, man? The scripture says, who shall rise up for me against the evildoers? Who's gonna rise up? Not this brother right here. I gotta grind, son. I gotta grind. For what? What are you grinding for? Everything you grinding for gonna burn here. What are you grinding for? You ain't building your nation. He hate his people. You know what he said? He said, you're not my people. 
My name is David. I was born here. Yeah, you was born here. And if you stay David born in America, you're gonna die here. That's right. It's madness, man. I'm not from, listen, I'm not from here. But I'm watching our people destroyed at an alarming rate, man. This doesn't, this doesn't upset you. This doesn't want you to change your, your situation. How can you change the situation? How can you help change the situation here? But don't take your time. This brother talking about saying, yeah, I got to grind. You know you got to work today. Give me Psalms 119 uh, verse 59. Don't take your time in doing it. We got a, we got a huge job, man. We need laborers here. We need brothers to come, come with that fire, bring this word and burn all this nonsense up, man. Watch this, come on. Psalm chapter 119, verse 59. I thought on my way. Oh, brother, you got a, what's your name? Charles, nice to meet you, Charles. I'm glad you stayed and you listened. I'm glad you had questions. But you got to think on your ways. You got to examine yourself, bro. You got to see, you got to dig into the scriptures. Examine yourself according to these scriptures and find out where you're going on. Think on your ways, come on. And turn my feet unto thy testimony. And you got to turn your feet. That means you got to take action to change your situation. You got to take action to change your condition. Turn your feet to the testimonies of this Bible. Come on. I made haste. Then what, brother? I made haste. What does that mean to make haste? To make haste, does that mean you, you patient? You taking your time? Right, to go fast. So David said, I made haste and did what? And delayed not to keep thy commandments. So David understood he had to examine himself. Find out what he was going on. And make the proper, change, make, make the proper changes to get, uh, fix itself according to the scriptures. He said, I made haste and delayed not to keep the commandments. You got to do the same thing, bro. Charles, you got to do the same thing. I know you got to work and everything like that, but you got to make provisions to keep these commandments. We're, we're in captivity. I understand that. That's one of the curses. Did the brother go over that? He did? Let's go. You got took the soul? Nah, that. Give me 228 for a second. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 47. Because thou service not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things. And this brother said, I got to grind. I'm a grind, son. I ain't gonna man the hell tell I'm a friend. He's not he's not seeking the most high God for the abundance of all things. He's lean, he's leaning on himself. He's thinking that it's in him, in himself to have to grind to get these things. The, the Bible says seek ye first the kingdom. Once you seek the kingdom, you begin to apply these commandments. The most high to make sure you're good. The birds eat, right? Do they, do they got a job? They grind? Come on, man. You gonna take care of us just like them. See, but our people they lack faith and they don't believe. We don't believe in this book. Come on. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. So because you didn't want to keep the commandments, you're going to serve your enemies. Where you work at? <laughs> Poetry and rap. So you're entertainer. So you entertain the people. That's what we know for, entertainment. Poetry and rap. That's, that's all we're known for. Nothing profound, nothing, nothing good, because what makes you good? The Bible, keeping the commandments, Romans 7 and 12. That's what makes you good. You understand? We can't do nothing good without this Bible. This brother said, hey, uh, now I don't do what that SH y'all y'all talking about. Bruh, you gotta keep these commandments, bro. You gotta dig into this Bible. Don't don't let it collect dust on your dog on Justin. And because we don't seek the Lord God with uh joyfulness and gladness of heart, we win this captivity. Now we gotta serve them. Now you have to buck dance and uh, uh Uncle Tom for these people. Now you gotta wash dishes for them. Flip them fries. Hey, don't let them fries burn. You got Burger King flipping fries now. You're a king of this earth, you flipping fries at Burger King. Does that make sense to you? Nothing good will come of you unless you're keeping the commandments of God. You understand that? Now jump back. Do one to the 28, verse 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. So because of our disobedience, because we didn't seek the most high, he sent who against us? Our enemies, right? So who do you work for? All praises, come on. In the hunger. So if you want food, right now, if you want food, 
Who y'all gonna see? Huh? The enemy, okay. And in thirst, more water. And in nakedness, more clothes. And in the want of all things. What's that want of all things mean? For want of all things. Want meaning for lack. So if you lack anything, what, what does this mean? You gotta go to your enemy. What does that mean? Huh? You lack education. Who teach you? If you want religion, you lack, you lack, you lack a belief. Like this brother right here, you lack belief. Who taught him that? His enemy. It just so happened they came with our books, our documentation to do that. Huh? Hey, we're reading about it right now. The most I sent our enemies against us because of our disobedience. That's how, that's how they got the Bible. We read about it. Come on. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. We were destroyed as a people. We were destroyed, man. We were destroyed. Why? Why, why do you think we were destroyed? Give me verse 15. Nah, this is why we destroyed. Listen, 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 listen. Verse 15. But it, but it shall come to pass. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Do we hearken unto the Lord, the voice of the Lord thy God today? As a people. Look around. This is predominantly our people. Do we hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God? Huh? What are we doing right now? We're buying and selling on the Lord's Sabbath. Kindling fire. Doing everything uh, contrary to what the Most High God told us to do. That's what we're doing right now. Look at this. Look, just look around. Say that again. Look over there. Look over there. No, there's no buying and selling. No killing of fire. No serve our work. Okay? All those things are things that we can't do on the Lord's Sabbath. But, as you can see, our people haven't hearkened to the voice of the Lord thy God. That's why we're on the bottom. Scrounging for change. Uh, tattoos all over our daggone face. Pants sagging to the daggone floor. We got to duck waddle and hold our pants up. You got your pants all the way up? Pull those pants up, brother. Pull them up. Pull them up. Put the pants up, brother. Come on. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So we're here right now. You watching in the Bronx right now, the product of us not hearkening unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Come on. To observe to do all his commandments. So we must observe to do all the commandments. Do they do the commandments in the churches? They do something. They like, ah, right, we're gonna do this. Oh, we're gonna do that. I don't like that right there. Alright, we're gonna right, do this though. Hey, hey, bring them cups in. Hey, and then uh the old testament done away with, but we're gonna tie. Hey, hey, tell them to bring this money. Hey, put that plate around here. They pick and choose what they're gonna do. You understand? They pick and choose. So the Bible says we gotta observe to do all the commandments. They pick, they play hopscotch with the commandments. Yeah. You understand? Right, I'm gonna do that. I ain't gonna do that. I'm gonna do that right here. They hopscotch with the commandments, bro. We can't do that. As a people, we can't move like that. God says you must do what? All the commandments. Observe to do all the commandments. Come on. To observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day. Come on. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So this is cause and effect. Because we didn't hearken unto the Most High God. Because we didn't keep the commandments. As we still know today, all these curses came upon us. And they overtook us. They destroyed us. Now you're looking at the product of a destroyed people. We're destroyed, man. I hate seeing my people like this. Sitting at the dead on phone booth, sticking out a sister, looking like a brother at the phone booth, sticking out her tongue. Just bugged out of their mind, man. I hate seeing my people like this. I want to see you as you supposed to be. And rulership, ruling this dog on earth and righteousness. That's what I want to see my people. Not walking around with their going pants on their behind, brothers sagging their dog on pants, sisters looking like men, men looking like sisters. That's bugged the hell out, man. I'm tired of seeing our people like this. But it's going to take us restoring the decay to state of our people. It's going to take us preaching and showing our people what thus says the Lord when you come out of that mindset. We're accursed as a people because of our disobedience. When you read Deuteronomy 28, verse 1 through 14, we would have got those blessings had we listened, but we're hard-headed and rebellious. You can tell your bro I can tell my brothers right now, bro, don't eat pork. Now I like my pork chops. 
Bro, don't work on the Sabbath. Y'all gotta grind, son. Put that Bible up. Come on, man. Does that make sense to you? But they believe in God. He probably go to church tomorrow. He's gonna get tomorrow off. I bet you don't work on tomorrow. Sunday. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.